So I'm going to get right into this. I'm going to grab, grab the lab. lab. I'm going to get right into this, guys. I'm going to grab the laptop. I'm going to put RTSP, the RTSP firmware for Waze on here for you guys. And then we are going to actually flash the device. So I'll be right back. Give me a minute and we will get this guy flashed for RTSP and set up on Zonewinder. All right, guys, one thing I want to go back over before we get into the RTSP setup, you, you got to be careful about what micro SD cards you use. You cannot flash with the 128s or even the 64s. It has to be a 3210 V10. If it's a V3 or V1, it will not work. I tried it and it doesn't work. So it has to be this guy right here. You guys want to, it doesn't have to be a sand disc. Sorry. But it has to have the the V10 for it to be able to flash. Um, I tried different brands. They just just get the V10 and it'll work for you. But if you're wondering, hey, why is my RTSP not working? Why is it not flashing? This is why. So um, they don't say. And I've watched like three or four YouTube videos and they don't say anything about this. So it's very annoying. But anyways, I'm gonna cut this guy open. We are gonna go to the, the Waze webpage. I will have it down here where you can download the firmware. I'll also have it down below in the comments for you guys. And I will put the information about the SD card and what you need. I will link a couple from Amazon that will work with this. Um, I will also link a couple of the 128s that I have put in here and have tested and know 100% they work. And if you order them from Amazon, they will also work for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy open. Um, the other thing, if you guys are running a laptop and you don't have one of these uh, wonderful media devices, these guys are great for doing camera work and, and other stuff like that. So I'll have the link for one of these guys down below too because I just love this thing. Um, it is not the USB 2 or 3 version, uh, but if you're going to be doing camera stuff and audio stuff or getting stuff off of your, your uh, Waze camera, you're going to want the 3.0 one. So... You're gonna come over here, you're gonna put your SD card in and it's gonna, should pop up on here. And there we go, it did. And then the first thing we are gonna do is we're gonna come over to this, this, this webpage right down here I have linked. And you guys are going to download the Waze Cam RTSP 4.28.4.41.zip. You're gonna hit save file or whatever you'd like to do, hit okay. It's going to take a couple seconds to download. And then the one thing you got to do first is you want to rename this. You cannot leave it named, otherwise it will not flash to the device. So it needs to be demo. I will actually put it down here, but it's demo.bin. I don't know if Windows, I don't have a zip program on this uh, PC, but let's go to properties and let's see if this will let me rename it in here. Doesn't look like it. So the easiest thing to do is just drop it on your uh, disc that just uh, popped up. Sorry, it's just an awkward way for me to be sitting at a laptop, guys. So I'm going to copy it to the, the micro SD. And then we are going to right click, draw on Windows, and hit rename and then leave the period and scroll all the way to demo hit back hit enter and it should now be renamed um, and that's all we really need to do on the pc for a little bit here i'm going to come and make sure we safely remove this guy there you go i heard that doo -doo -doo. you can safely remove it and now we can get the pc and just close this guy for right now We'll come back to that here in a second. I'm gonna bring the Waze camera over here, guys. And we, oh, the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna unplug the power on here. Second thing we are gonna do, we're gonna come to the front here, and this port right here, you gotta make sure the SD card is facing forward. You want the color towards the lens. You're gonna lock this guy in. 
it's kind of hard because it's like indented in there. If you got a key or something you can press down in there, or even the USB device would work. See, that that's what I use. I can't get my finger down in there. So now what you're going to do is you're going to simultaneously hold this reset button while you restart this guy. So you want to be following and watching this light right here. So I'm going to get the reset button to where I can hold it. I'm going to plug her in. If, if I get the USB correctly. So hold the set, set up settings button. Hold it down. And we are waiting for that orange light to turn solid blue. Once it turns solid blue, you can let go of the reset button. And then we are pretty much, it is now flashing the firmware once it's that lightish blue. It should be the orange and blue light together. So it should visually look different than the solid blue and, and it shouldn't be an orange. So I am pretty much going to let this guy go. We have, it says on the guide to leave it between two and five minutes. That's what I do. And at that point, it should flash the firmware. So I will be right back to you guys. I'm not going to make you wait the three to five minutes and we will be back. Hey guys, I'm back here. I let this guy flash. And the first thing you're going to come and do is you are going to pull the power cord on this guy. So you're going to pull the power cord and then what we're doing is we're resetting it. And then we're going to put the power cord in. And of course she should reset. And you want to grab your phone out and pull the Waze app back up. So you're gonna pull your phone up, which I'll probably have up here, and then you'll go to the Waze app, and the camera should show up. Once the camera does show up, there we go, the camera is now showing them up. So, gonna come here and stick this guy up here. Let you guys see some of the set. Oh, it's not gonna work no more. Magnet base doesn't want to do what I'm telling it to do. But you're going to come and hit your camera. You're going to go up to the little uh, icon in the top right corner, the gear icon. You're going to go down to advanced settings. And at the very, very wee bottom, you should see RTSP. And you're going to have to enable it. So you click the little slider guy that's right there, if it, if it allows me to. My current firmware doesn't support RTSP. That's weird. Hmm. It's not letting me enable it. What's going on here, Houston? We have a problem. I used the firmware off their thing. Well, since it's not allowing me to uh, use RTSP, Give me a second here, I'm going to restart the camera one more time. And this time I'm going to use the, the settings button. Ready to connect. See if we can get, uh, <coughs> get this guy to work. I'm going to delete the old device. Go hit new device. Go always cam. Next. I heard ready they're ready to connect. to connect. You're going to put in your network name and SSID, hit next. You're gonna get a QR code, and that QR code, QR code scan. you're gonna scan. Kind of like I went through the first time. Hit next. Hopefully it's nice and nice and quick. There we go. Just gonna just gonna give it a random name. Hit maybe later. Go back up to the gear. Go to advanced settings, RTSP, try to enable it. Camera not connected. Hmm. That's odd. Why is camera not connected? It's still going through its initialization. So you're going to have to allow it to go through the initialization. Once it does, hopefully it will allow us to do it. If not, I guess I'm going to show you guys how to flash this guy back to the original firmware. And then we will flash it. Again, back to um, the RTSP firmware. All right, seems like the apps have an issue, so I'm gonna go ahead and close the app. And let's see if that fixes the, the issue. Oh, here we go. It says the camera's up. 
No, nope, it's not up. We're having some difficulties, Houston. Camera probably got too cold being out up here in the north, you know? Gonna have to be very polite to it, otherwise it's gonna dislike me. You know, up in the Midwest here, we have manners, you know? We like to be nice to each other. Yeah, something's very wrong with this camera. We're gonna have to figure it out here. All right, guys. I'm gonna unplug her, and we're gonna grab this, the SD card out of here. And then we are gonna uh, go through the firmware. We're gonna go back through the firmware here. I am not gonna reflash it back to the old firmware, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go and wipe the SD card, format it. So I'm gonna come here, put it into the computer. Oh. Gotta put it in the right slot, nitwit. Do a format. The other thing is you do want to make sure that it is FAT32, otherwise it will not work. And then we're going to go back to the Waze site. So you're going to get back to the Waze Cam RTSP. And then you're going to come down here and you want the one that says that's not the, the uh, Cam Pan. You want this first one like we did the first time. You're going to go ahead and save the file to your desktop. All right, guys, we're going to right click, go down to rename. And let's make sure it's demo.vin. Demo.vin, hit enter. And then we need to disconnect this guy from the computer. Come over here to the little USB uh, stick icon. Eject your card. And we're just gonna go through the same procedure we did last time. Come and put the SSD, SSD, SD card back in here. Of course, I can't get it in there because I'm special. Special Ed. And yes, I did ride on a short bus when I was little. Come on, get your butt in there. Thank you. I don't know why that was so darn hard for you, you know. About five seconds turns light blue. And then about three to five minutes and that should be ready to go. Hey guys, she should be done doing her firmware dump. Uh, we're going to get right into it. And it should be an orange blinky light. Give it about five minutes. Um, and we are going to pull the power. Um, you could just hit the reset button. I did it on another device, but I want to be sure that this has uh, been programmed correctly. So we should see a solid orange light. And then it should eventually go through its boot up and connect to the phone. So if you have your phone up, I'm going to close the app out just to refresh it. We'll reopen the Waze app. Showing that the camera's offline. So let's go ahead and hit the setup button. Ready to connect. And let's go on our app and delete the device. Let's add the new device. I'm not going to walk you guys through this because I've done it already with you. Of course, you got to make sure all the stuff is correct. Ready to I know they're, yeah, they're, hey, you're ready to connect. Just hold your horses. <clears throat> Grab the QR code. QR code scan. Please wait. Hit, I heard the QR code scan. Hopefully we have the RTSP and we can set up Zone Minder with this Waze version 2 black camera. There we go. I'm just going to select the generic name for it because it's a demo camera. I'm just going to do kitchen camera finish. I'm not going to do the share device. Do maybe later. And then it's going to go through its connecting. And it will take uh, probably about 30 seconds, maybe a little bit less. Inspector Shayla, come here, baby. It's okay. I got the Inspector Shayla here. She's uh, checking out, making sure her daddy's doing everything by correct and making sure it's all safe. It's my male inspector. She's very good at her job. She makes her her daddy does everything correct. So, all right, guys, back to the Waze camera. I'm going to come up here to the top right corner, hit the gear icon. We're going to go to advanced settings, and then we got RTSP at the very wee bottom. And then we're going to hit turn on, and it's going to make you create a username and password. So you're going to create a username and password. We want to make sure it's secure. So you're going to want at least, I, I would say make six letters and four numbers. So whatever you choose, one has to be capital. 
It doesn't have to be for this app, but for security purposes, it does. Then you're going to click the generate URL. It's going to generate a URL. And that is the URL we are going to put into ZoneMinder. So we're going to come to ZoneMinder, go to console, hit add. And then we're going to name this, let's just name this uh, Waze. Wayne W. Waze. All this stuff I'm just going to leave alone. And I'm just going to show you guys how to set up the RTS peeling. If you want to see how to do the other stuff in depth, please watch my other video with the pan camera. It has all that stuff in there. So we're going to come back here. We are going to do RTSP semicolon forward slash forward slash capital S N O W. And then of course colon again, not semicolon, sorry, colon. And then we're going to do the password, which it already has it here. So I'm just going to grab this link and it did change its IP. So I am going to backspace and hit one. So the link is going to be your name that you created, a colon, the password at the IP address that this the DHCP grabbed with this guy, and then a forward slash, and it's forward slash live, and it's all lowercase. It's going to be TCP. TCP is going to be your method. Option, nothing. If you're having a lot of issues with the camera breaking up in lines and stuff like that, you can lower the bit rate to 24. I'm going to leave it at 32. It's very important that you do the capture with. So this is a 1920 by 1080p camera. And then everything else, I'm not going to go over with you guys. I'm just going to leave stock. And the one thing I will do is because the demo, I am going to set the scale to one half. And then you scroll down here to the bottom and you hit save. As long as all the information is correct, mainly in that, that, uh, that first page where we put the RTSP link, it should come right up. So if I come over here in ZoneMinder and click on the name, the camera should come right up. And there we go. And that is pretty much the RTSP setup. So guys, thank you very much to all my subscribers. Um, one quick thing I would like to ask you guys about is, do you guys think Waze should actually have the RTSP in their normal firmware? I think they should. It's a security camera. It's not just a pet um, baby cam. So I, what do you guys think? Say it in the comments below. Um, other than that, this is Tech Network, guys, and thank you very much for watching my videos, and you have an awesome freaking day. Hey, guys, it's Tech Network here. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and hit that bell. Thanks.